Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play the Thousand Year Door. Okay, so we have just finished up Chapter 4, and we're now uh, taken back to Twilight Town here. Sort of a little change, I suppose. Vivian is so very late. Where's that scatterbrain been all this time? Gah. Yeah, you don't know anything, do you? Oh, holy crap, it's Duplus. <laughs> yeah, so just sort of a brief little scene. It'll be important later, but, <laughs> you know, just, just sort of something to watch for now, I suppose. All right, here we are. Now we're taken back up to Grotus's lair. Are you sure about this? Speak up, x not Yes, sir, quite sure. I poured over all our research of the Thousand-Year Door, and it appears the ceiling power has definitely been weakening, as Beldum said. Finally, the treasure of legend, this ancient power of darkness, will soon be ours. Listen, and listen well. Keep giving the Crystal Star Search top priority. Of course, that also includes the elimination of Mario, that meddling scum. Got it, sir. Okay, we may be meddling, but we're certainly not scum. Soon I will have the power that has slipped for a millennium. So very soon. And when that glorious day dawns, I'll throw the world into depths of terror. No one can stop me now. I will kneel before the x not regime. And then I, Grotus, will build a new world. A perfect, ideal world. Yes, a world made by me, about me, and for me. Gak, 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 gak. Geez, somebody's a little self-centered there, aren't they? All right, and thankfully this time they cut out the trip to Tech's room. I don't, I don't know if they did that last time or not. I can't remember. But Tech, did you call me? What shall I do today? Will it be dancing, perhaps? Disguising? Or will I sing a song or something? I I am conflicted. Huh? What's wrong, Tech? You don't seem yourself. Which is more important, carrying out an order, or protecting a critical person? I exist for the purpose of a certain person. I wish to exist for the purpose of another. I do not know what to do, really. What do you mean? No, no, never mind. Please forget my musings. I do not know why, but it makes me feel unpleasant if I make you worry. Well, in any case, let's have a quiz. Oh yeah, that sounds fun. A quiz? That's right, Princess Peach. Please answer the questions that I am about to ask you. If you can answer five questions, you may use the communicator as usual. Oh, that's conditions now, huh? What's with you all of a sudden, huh? Now, the first question. What will happen if you collect seven crystal stars? Um, the thousand-year door opens, I suppose. Correct. Hey, all right. Now the second question. What is the goal of Grotus, leader of the Exonauts? Ah, we know this one, to conquer the world. To become a superhero. Correct. Now, the third question. What is the legendary treasure that waits behind the thousand-year door? Tech, is this... Princess, please answer. What is the legendary treasure? Uh, alright. Wow, a hundred million coins, an extremely rare badge, or a thousand-year-old demon soul. Uh, I think it's the last one. You don't want to get these wrong. I mean, you may not know them, really, <laughs> right now off the top of your head, but you don't want to get them wrong, because then you'll have to answer the first ones again, too, so... What does Sir Grotus wish to do with this ancient demon soul? <laughs> Cherish it always, or hang out with it? Hmm, I don't know, that's a tough one. Uh, let's go with the middle one. Correct. Now the fifth question. What is required to seal up the demon again? Uh, crystal stars. Correct. You have correctly answered all five questions. Now you may use the communicator. Tech, you... Was it okay for you to tell me such things? Please input the message you wish to send. Yeah, Tech didn't tell you anything. You said it yourself, so... Although, I guess you did say you were correct, so it's kind of the same thing, I suppose. Uh, okay, I'm done. Could you send it? The message has been sent. That is all for now. Please go back to the room. Thank you. You're still a weird computer, Tech. <laughs> yep, he pretty much is. Good night, Princess Peach. Oh, he, he needed to come back with the clever quip of, No, I am a perfect computer. He needed to do that again. That would make some good humor, but... Uh, no, I don't think we need to save after that. It wasn't really that <laughs> that strenuous or anything. Okay, so now, as usual, we're taking back to Bowser. And, I don't know, this, this one seems kind of weird to start out with to me. They're sitting here. My lord, I've received reports of a great secret in the floating town of Glitzville. Let's ride the cheap blimp there. Come now. It's like, wasn't Bowser just in Glitzville? I mean, we fought him while we were there, right? You there, two tickets. One great and evil king, and one sweet young thing. G -g good gravy! But Bowser, the evil king, and a deluded old hag. I, uh, life's too short. 
<laughs> wow. What did he just say? Hey, come back here, you. If you don't little cheapskate. Oh, I'll get it cheap. C-H-E-E-P, because he's a cheap cheap. Yeah, yeah, okay. Clever, huh? Oh, Bowser's gone. Hey, I'm talking to myself. Where'd Lord Bowser go? Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> of course, he's got his own transportation, right? He doesn't need no stinking blimp. <laughs> Forget that wimpy blimpy. I'll be riding this, baby. I stuck into Glitzville once before, so I know the way. No problemo. You go easy on your old limbs and take the slow ride on the blimp, Grandma. Well, that's not very nice. Just leave Cammy behind there. Oh, and you made her lose her broom. That's not fair. Wait, Lord Bowser, please. Aww. Now my special dirigible deluxe brown bag cami lunch will go to waste. Oh, that's a mouthful. <laughs> Literally, get it? No. Alright, so now Bowser is flying through the skies in his little Koopa Clown car. Which is cool. Uh-oh. <laughs> Having a little mechanical problems. Huh? That don't sound good. What's that warning light? Oh, don't tell me. What, are you out of gas or something? Arrgh! <laughs> Yep, so his clown car broke down or something, and ooh, splash right in the water. And of course, this is going to bring up another one of these cool little Bowser segments, and this time, since we're in World 2, it's a water level! Hey, what do you know, I got these little uh, things here and everything. Of course, you can now burn them with fire. And something I like to do is actually break this block with fire, and that, <laughs> that'll just be floating there, which is kind of funny. Uh, you can also take out those annoying bloopers with the flames. This one is actually much more difficult, really, than um, the first one we faced was. So, uh, just go ahead and get your uh, little power-ups here, and then we can get the second one. And then we'll turn into Super Mega Awesome Bowser, or whatever. And uh, we gotta break it from this side, I guess. There we go. And you always move a lot faster while swimming. So, you know, even when you're large, Bowser, you're probably better off trying to stay, like, in the up in the water here. Otherwise, you'll walk, like, really slowly, and it'll run out really quick. So, it can be kind of hard to move around, but... And for some reason, you stay really big, even when it runs out. So, I don't know, is it some sort of glitch or something? Uh, beats me. But anyway, you can uh, jump up on that spring, get back up to the overworld here. And just... Oh. Okay, then. Yeah, that, that's completely fair, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I think that's totally fair. Alright, come on. J right, just start me back. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? Man, I can't believe that. Alright, I guess we need to stay up here or something. I don't know. Okay, there we go. That'll work. Man, that, that was so much crap, though. I don't even believe that. <laughs> it's kind of cheap, if you ask me, but... Oh, well, whatever. Anyway, we got it finished this time, thankfully. And now we're going to end up back at Rogueport. That was terrible. I gotta get in shape. Who's... Ah, it's Bowser, the Koopa King. He'll eat us. Someone help. Ah, <laughs> ah he's alright. Oh, <laughs> nice little hat ornament there. Oh yeah, I like it. There you are, Lord Bowser. What are you doing here? I've been looking all over. If I may ask, where have you been, your sogginess? <laughs> Good one. Swimming. Really? Neat! As for me, Blissville was fantastic! The fights were so cool! I was overcome! Why, even at my age, I was shaking what my mama gave me! Ugh, that, that's a nasty sight. And then, the hot dogs! Oh my gracious, yummerly! You have fun too, hmm? Oh... Lord Bowser, is that a no? Yeah, it's something like that. It was terrible, you hear me? I swallowed a dang blooper! I wanted to have fun! But forget it, it's over. Go get me some solid info on Princess Peach and the Crystal Stars. Now! Aw, Bowser. You're a little grumpy today, aren't you? <laughs> Alright, so no, we're not gonna save. No need to. So now that we finished both Peach and Bowser's little uh, side stuff, we're now going to be taken back to Mario, of course, back here in Twilight Town. Cool stuff. I can't believe it was a fake Mario all that time, so we were all fooled. I'm so sorry, Mario. After all you've done for our town, did we hurt your feelings? Eh, maybe a little bit. Nah, not really. I don't care. You're a bigger man than I, Mario. Such fortitude. You're a true hero. You've brought a shining ray of light to our dim little town. Twilight Town thanks you. Hey, Mario. We need to get back to Rogueport, right? Let's go. 
Please come back to visit anytime you like. Yeah, I don't know. I might be back here at some point. I don't think so, but <laughs> maybe. It's so nice to be back in my body. It's so hard to get around when you're piggy. Huh? What did you just say? Why, well, that's just rude. I didn't say anything. What? Are we supposed to say you look like a piggy anyway? I don't know. Jeez. What about you? You know, I always used to love pork chops, but now I think about the poor pig. Hmm. Hey, you don't think maybe I was a pig in a past life, do you? What a concept. Eh, uh, probably not. Anyway, let's get out of this dull little town and make our way back to Rogueport. Uh, in this chapter in between, we're actually going to be doing uh, some stuff in Rogueport for once. I mean, it seems like before, most of the time when we come through, it's just kind of, you know, we figure out where to go next and then we go. But we're going to be spending a little more time here, which is pretty cool. Oh my goodness, Mario, would that be an email from Princess Peach? It sure would. Let's check it. My dear Mario, I finally learned what the legendary treasure is. It's the spirit of a demon. The Exonauts plan to revive the thousand-year-old monster. And he uses power to take over the world. They're collecting the crystal stars so they can open the thousand-year door. They'll find this demon's spirit, but the only thing that can keep it locked away is the crystal stars themselves. You must not let them get the crystal stars. Please, Mario, you must put a stop to their horrible plans. Eh, well, we'll do what we can. An ancient demon spirit. And you notice how Vivian's, like, little tail there looks, like, sort of folded up or something? I don't know. It's really weird. It does that sometimes. It's some sort of graphical glitch, I guess. All right, so let's uh, get out of here. I don't remember what I think it's, it's, it should be this pipe. It leads up, right? Surely that's the right one. Let's find out. And... Yep, sure is. All right. All right, so uh, there's also a couple more shine sprites we can pick up now that we have uh, our next little paper ability. We want to go into this first house over here. Now, we haven't really checked out these houses, but they're pretty cool. I never play outside at all. This town is just too crowded and scary and weird. It's terrible. Yeah, it's all right. I guess it's not that bad if you uh, know how to take care of yourself. Ugh, my kid spends all day shut up indoors. I hope he's not warped or anything. I sure would like to go to a deserted island where I can write without any worries. Yeah, see, you can really notice Vivian's little, like, tail there. That's so weird. I don't know why that happens, but it just does sometimes. Let's, uh... No, actually, let's try using a little power and see if it fixes it. Yeah, see, now it's back to normal. It's like, I don't know, it just it does that sometimes. But anyway, we can come over here to the right and sort of use our two powers to roll out here and get behind the house. And there's obviously a shine sprite here. And then we can go back in. And I kind of like how you go back in. You go through this little hole here, and you end up... <laughs> coming out of the drawer of this Koopa's house. That's kind of neat. Alright, what have you got to say about that, buddy? You little creeped out? Yet another day dwindles away while I loaf in bed, doing nothing. Oh well, I sold so much stuff in internet auctions that I'm richer than ever. Well, you're in bed, but you're standing up. That's weird. Who just stands up in bed all day? <laughs> Awful strange, but... Okay, and uh, there's also one more that we can get around Rogueport, but um, it's much better to just do it. We'll actually be taken pretty much right there anyway by the story purposes, so I will just take care of that later. Um, I don't really... Th there is actually one trouble uh, that's worth looking at. Uh, let's go over here to the right. I'm actually not going to do it right now, but um, it's one that just became available to us like right now in this little uh, chapter intermission here. Uh, so let's go ahead and at least check it out. Uh, just so you know which one it is, in case you feel like doing it yourself. Uh, let's scroll down here. It's the one with the question marks, the elusive badge. I'm after an elusive badge. Must explain in person. Meet me on the roof of Zesty's house in Rogueport Square. The poster's anonymous. It may be dangerous. But, yeah, like I said, we're not going to do it right now. Um, actually, because we're going to have to go there, like, for something else later anyway. Like, the place where that trouble would take us. So, I'm pretty much just going to do that, like, in one fell swoop. You know, just take care of both at once. Um, okay, so I guess, I don't know, I'm going to go ahead and end the part here. I need to kind of figure out what I'm going to do. I haven't planned this out very much. So, uh, in the next part, we'll probably end up going to the Thousand Year Door. Uh, but if I find something else to do, then we might do that instead. But anyway, until then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.